My name is Andrea Taravella. Welcome to my show called Bocconcino di Vino. Today I will prepare a nice broccoli with the sausage, Italian sausage, a little anchovies. Some of you don't like anchovies, but it's very good with the pecorino cheese. So we start with a little two glove garlic. I used to chop little small, very small pieces. I chop already some. I'll make a small pieces. Okay. I'll put a little virgin olive oil here. Then I cut the sausage. This Italian sausage is very good. It's no price shop uh, sausage. So I just cut, the, uh, make a small pieces. I'll do first here. Make sure you don't burn the garlic, otherwise it tastes very bitter. bitter. This time you gotta put this uh, boiling water. You put the broccoli here. It's almost one pound. Now you gotta wait a little. Put a little salt here. This is cooking maybe two minutes, just to get a boil a little. So now we keep going with the sausage here. We'll put one more here. Usually one is okay, but I want to put two. just to make it small pieces. So I break a little. So if it's a little dry, we put a little water from the pasta, the boiled pasta here. All right, cook a little, a few minutes. Just to stir a little. So this pasta is a very simple pasta. If you like it, we make it just with the broccoli, garlic, eh, that's it. It'd be very simple. But uh, if you put it with the sausage, a little anchovies, oh, I forgot the anchovies. Now we put the anchovies here. Four anchovies. It give a nice flavor. So the anchovies, it be melt the time you finish. Just to chop a little. So I miss you guys. I was in vacation for December, January, February. 
I was in vacation. I don't have a good time because it was very, very cold. I was in Rotland. Okay. So the sausage already, almost ready. Also put a little uh, uh, peperoncino, so a little uh, red pepper. Just touch, give a nice zinc. Okay, now we put the, the broccoli in the sausage. We put it all here. And with some uh, water, we boil the pasta. Today I'm making a little campanelle. It's a little, uh, look like a cam uh, belly, little bell. So I gotta boil this here. Almost. So you keep cooking in, in uh, with the sausage. You break a little, make it with the small pieces, so it'll be easy to eat. Okay, water boil, put the pasta. So if you cook in some uh, water with the broccoli, you have a, a more flavor. Okay. Put the more water for. Okay, this is almost, this is almost ready. You don't take too long. We finish this in 15 minutes. Uh, so, a little low, because this is already, almost ready. So I wait for the pasta now. Make sure the pasta you cook al dente because you gotta cook more in the sauce.
me try the sauce just in case. You don't have to put the salt here because the anchovy is already salt. Very good. So when I went to Sicily last year, I went to visit my friend of mine. They get married for 20 years. So I went inside there, they, we have lunch. Uh, my friend called the, the wife, honey, can you do this for me? Honey, can you do this for me? And then I said, hey, Giovanni, this, after 20 years you still call honey? I said, yes. I said, why you call honey? I don't remember his name. <laughs> so the name is Laura. Yeah, but I can say now, nothing now, because if you say, call her Laura, she'd be upset. So. So in Italy we eat a lot of simple things. It's a test is very good. Like a broccoli pasta or sausage with uh, shiitake mushrooms. It's very good. Also a lot of seafood is excellent. Some restaurant they have the, the fishermen work for just for them. They go fishing and they bring the fresh fish to the restaurant. Tastes so good. And the fish also in Italy is a very, from the Mediterranean Sea, it's warm, warm water, and they have a lot of flavors. Okay, now we put the pasta here. Like this. Okay. You also gotta put some uh, water. This is very important, the water. The water has a lot of protein, a lot of starch. All right, we mix it all together here. So we finish the cooking here with the broccoli and sausage. In Italy, the people like to eat the pasta very, very al dente. If you don't cook al dente, they send it back in the restaurant. Oh, smell good. Okay. Give a few more minutes. 
Also in the end, you put a little more virgin olive oil. Just a little. The fresh pepper. Well, I put already red, the red pepper, but a little fresh pepper is good too. Okay, let me try one. Mmm, ready. Now we have Romano cheese, pecorino cheese. Oh, we put a little more here. Yeah, a little more here. All right, turn off the light, the fire. Now we gotta try. If this is good or not good. Delicioso. Very, very good. It's simple, very simple. The chip too, not cost too expensive. So, thank you for watching my show. I hope you'll see you next time. Enjoy the day. Someday you will see the heat. Bye. Ciao, friend.